Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Infinity Custom Works, and Gary Dean Detailing. Behind me, you will see a Jeep, a very customized Jeep that I'll be working on today and tomorrow. It is getting Infinity Liner in texture. I'm going to spray it on in black. And then it is getting Infinity Liner clear in the flat version with no texture right on top of that but with a special chameleon pearl so this jeep is going to get the first ever infinity liner chameleon application that well anybody's done because it's my product and well we're not selling it currently because it's very expensive to manufacture i'm talking about the infinity liner so um, I can produce it cheap enough where I can use it in my business, uh, but the cost is really high. Infinity Liner is something that we install exclusively at the moment. So let me show you what we got going on today. So this Jeep has had lots and lots of work done. It still needs some stuff, uh, but it's in a position now where I can get it all painted up for them. So basically what's happening is he's had a bunch of body work done. It's, he's got these quarter inch thick steel panels all the way around this thing. They're all welded on. I'm actually um, filling in the seams and I'm gonna fill in a lot of these bolt holes. So I gotta sand a little bit more. Then I'm going to Bondo um, fill them get them as smooth as I can, and then we're gonna shoot the liner right on top. So um, my client brought this hood over yesterday, did what he could to make it fit properly, and so it's good to go. Uh, I've just got to fill in all these seams, all these big gaps, so that everything will flow nicely. I'm gonna get all the seams, all the gaps, and that kind of thing. You can see what I'm talking about, these right here. So I've already started on it. I've done basically half the Jeep already. You can see. I got the seam sealer all up in some seams. All up in there, all around in that thing. And then got in here, all in here, all on the top of this thing, and the fender. So I got everything smooth and looking good. Um, these were bigger gaps, so I kind of had to fill it. I'm not real worried about it because when we spray the liner on top, it should take care of a lot of this these defects. So I've got this whole area around here done. And I'm going to keep working my way around. I am using some really tough stuff, some PR POR15. If you don't use stuff from this brand, POR15, you're missing out. Uh, they have a lot of good stuff, especially for rust prevention and that kind of thing. But this is filler and seam sealer. So this is perfect for what I'm doing. So basically, um, per the directions, it doesn't require a whole lot of prep. Make sure it's dry is all it says. Clean and dry. So um, I'm walking around it with a towel and some isopropyl alcohol, just scrubbing out the edges. That POR15 stuff should cure, no problem. So anyway, just walking around with the seam sealer getting rid of uh, all these gaps, and then I'll be sanding out all of these bolt holes and filling that with all of those with Bondo, smoothing everything out as best I can, and then we'll start to paint. This is the tailgate for that thing and the brackets for the front uh, light bar. I've got to prime that, and then both sides are getting the texture infinity liner in black, but the inside is staying black. The outside will get that extra clear with chameleon color shift treatment. So that's where we're at right now with this Jeep is I'm trying to get the body prepped for infinity liner. And then as soon as that's done, I'm hoping to get, I'm hoping to get all the seams sealed today, all the body work done and sanded and everything taped up. 
and then tomorrow I should have to come in here and just spray this thing and uh, we'll be good to go. Uh, the only issue is we've got a few parts that are off this thing. I am going to spray this grill first to send him an idea of what the texture is going to look like. But as soon as we get a little bit further along, Sorry. I will let you know where we're at. Okay. All right, made some progress on this uh, dinosaur of a Jeep, but custom Willy over here. So I got the lovely Tony pulling off the weather stripping uh, plugs because he's not going to put weather, weather stripping back on here. And uh, I'm going to be putting the infinity liner on the jams as well. So basically everywhere on the door on the inside around where the panel goes. So like these edges, they're all getting lined. Um, all of the jams are getting lined. Um, I still have to finish up my sanding. I have just sanded them enough to mark where they're at. I've got a patch going in right there. Um, I cleaned it out really well and I put some mesh back there and I've got something pushing in on it from the inside there. And so it's all looking good. I'm going to smooth it out a little bit, uh, make it match the texture of the rest and all of that's getting lined anyway. So got that patch done. That was the only hole from the outside. I pulled the tail lights out. Both of those are here and there. And I got all of the seam sealing done. That's just curing now. It looks pretty good. Everything over here is sealed and you can see everywhere that's lightly sanded. I am, I gotta go, I gotta sand more. So, and then get a Dremel and try to buzz out these so that I get all the paint out of there. So the Bondo will stick. Same thing with this side. All done, now it's time to get some more sanding done and get that Bondo in there. Um, Tony got a lot of work done on the wheels. They were kind of nasty. Uh, my client specifically asked if we could work on the wheels and the answer is yes. So those are looking better. Uh, not quite done with them yet. We are gonna be um, doing the infinity liner on the fender wells. So everything's getting the black liner with texture and then after that's done, all of the exterior stuff. Oh yeah, I gotta fix a dent that's right here and a dent that's right here. So I'm working on sanding that now. So after I fill those two dents in and then get everything sanded and fill in all those holes, I'll then let the Bondo cure, get it as smooth as I can, hit it all with primer and then I gotta see if I've got any cans of black primer. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, nope, didn't look like it. I got, that's all right, gray primer will work. So anyway, that's the progress right now. I've got this panel to deal with, the tailgate still, the mounts for the um, light bar, and then we are gonna paint this grill as well. So just wanted to give you an update real quick of what's going on. So back to work. All right, I was hoping to get a little bit more done today, but as you can see, I sanded down everything really well. I wiped everything down with acetone and then I filled it all. All the holes. He wanted everything filled. So that's what we did. And then there was a big gap right here that I went ahead and filled. Um, I'm gonna have, I ran out of Bondo. I have more at my house, which I have to bring here. I'm probably gonna have to put a little bit more in here just cause it's a little thin down here. You can see that dip. So I'm going to put a little bit more in that tomorrow. And then this side looks okay, but I'll probably fill that in a little bit tomorrow as well. Uh, but we got, I put that POR 15. Ooh, look at that. 
I bursted its bubble. I put that POR15 stuff in there thinking that I could fill that with it, but the gap is just a little big. So hoping that'll cure overnight. And then uh, after that, I can probably sand it all down and I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, so everything's filled. I still gotta fill these two holes as well, but I gotta grind those down a little bit more. Um, it was a big dent right here, which I believe that I filled. There was a big dent there that I filled. And that's basically it. I do have to drill out the holes, this one and this one, because I accidentally got some Bondo in there, but that's okay. And then those are all filled. This is a good solid quality repair. Pretty excited about that. And then moving right along, I got all those holes straight. I got to drill that out a little bit because that's where the tail light goes. But that's it. I'm not going to fill these holes um, mainly because I think it's going to, gravity is going to pull the filler in, but. He also doesn't care, so I'm not gonna. I'm not doing anything with those. All right, so Bondo's all done. Wheels are about halfway done. I got to ceramic coat them and uh, fix the caps. Uh, so basically, I got just a little bit more Bondoing to do tomorrow on this piece, the other piece, and then these holes over there. And then I uh, grind everything down, get it all smooth, and then we will uh, prime those spots. Tape it up and get her sprayed. I pulled the, oh, I already mentioned I pulled the taillights out. There's two strips on each side that are going to go here, but he only had one hooked up. So, end of day one. We officially started on it today, and we're good to go. All right, I'll bring you back tomorrow when we get to working on this bad boy.